We're developing a soft wearable robotic glove that could go on a person's hand that would be useful for patients who have lost the ability to grasp objects. These could be patients with muscular dystrophy, ALS, incomplete spinal cord injury. We're trying to create a solution that will allow them to be able to perform activities of daily living. Using soft robotics, you can make a device that's a lot lighter and that is a lot easier to align and to put onto a person's hand and ultimately we believe will also be more comfortable for the user. For people with uh, weak hand strength, simple tasks are everyday challenges. Their hands most of the times are very weak and their fingers are very flaccid. I'm not, you know, I'm not physically active at all. I can't fix things, I can't hang pictures, I, you know, I mean just every way possible. I can't write, I drop my glasses, I drop uh, cups and dishes and food items and it would just be wonderful to feel like I could just control my environment a little better, my life a little better. When we have a patient that we see, we're trying to understand what is the size of their hand and what are the motions that they're trying to perform. And then when we build the soft robotic actuators, we can actually mechanically program them by tailoring the material properties so that those actuators actually produce the desired motion that we want that is also similar to what the motion of the fingers would be trying to do if a person was healthy. I wouldn't attempt to, to pick these up with my right hand because it's just not strong enough to reliably pick anything up like that. With the glove, it's like having a hand back that works. The soft actuators on this device acts as an extra muscle layer, riding on the back of the finger and provides the extra force a finger needs to close around an object. It feels really nice. <laughs> Things like this round are very difficult for me to do one-handed, if at all. <laughs> My hand doesn't work very well fully extended, so it's wonderful to be able to pick this up. We can design an actuator to match entirely the anatomy of the user's finger, and we can specify where the knuckles uh, are, where the bending parts, where the extending parts, and even for the thumb, where we have a much more complex motion, where the, the twisting of the actuator will take place. I, I think it's wonderful. Um, it's really comfortable. If anything, it feels good to have it on. It feels nice to have my fingers extended. But most of all, it's the function, to have strength in my hand again. It's just wonderful to be able to firmly grasp something and not feel like I'm going to drop it. Going forward, I think it's going to be, how do we make this device smaller? How do we make it even lighter? And how do we allow the user to control it very intuitively so that as they're trying to perform tasks, the device is just working synergistically with them.